rapper Tory Lanez, who has been charged in the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion, and is now facing 22 years in prison if convicted of the crime. According to the Los Angeles District Attorney, Tory Lanez was just charged with assaulting Megan Thee Stallion, including being accused of shooting the WAP rapper, um, Wet. Mm. And um, the rapper was charged with one felony of assault with a semi-automatic firearm, personal use of a firearm, and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle. And um, this is a thing of, <laughs> okay, now, no pun intended. He shot her in the leg, right? Mm -hmm. And he just shot himself in the leg with a mixtape. <laughs> he dropped, mm -hmm. you know, actually confess. That mixtape is a full-on confession, if you ask me. Really? I thought he was denying it. He was in, he I was, was I like, were, in the, were in the parking lot throughout. I never shot. He, he basically denied it, didn't he? he has, it's a full mixtape. There are other songs where he spoke about it. Like, if he didn't behave this way, I wouldn't have reacted this way. Because that, you know? that song was basically saying that... You're talking about Most to... High, right? Yes. and That's he... just one song. What about Sorry, sorry But I'm Not Sorry or Sorry right. You Made Me Do It. I, I don't know. A song right. that, that has to do with Sorry on the same mixtape. Where he mentioned names of people that actually called him out to be incarcerated, to be questioned to be this to be that he called a lot of people snitches so the moment you're beginning to call people snitches for a crime you did not commit why are they I'm, snitching if do you, you do get it, it? Yeah. like so to me you started confessing by yourself mm. these people were calling you out and you gave them room to even stand on their call outs like yeah we're actually calling you out because you did this and you did that so um I don't want to say I wish him the best of luck because if he did it, um, if you do the crime, do the time. So I don't wish you the best of luck. I just, <laughs> hope, <laughs> I just hope um, you learn from this experience and uh, you can be a better man and stop shooting ladies. You see, when, when that video came out, Most High, wherever, and I saw the comments, I cringed. I really cringed. Mm. There's, this, there's all these memes that women used to do where um, we would mock black men for saying protect our women protect our women and the women now say but please can you you know not not um joke about us in your movies or whatever and then they're like you're doing too much this you're doing too much but, but, but protect our women you see that that is the mindset i keep on getting with our black men especially the ones in america they are also here um, you claim to, you're, it's very easy to use your words and protest and say, yeah, you know, we protect our apartment, this and this. But when, when it comes down to it, it's really what comes down to actions. Mm -hmm. I don't see it at all. Mm -hmm. I think when, when, when Megan Thee Stallion quote, be quoted, um, what's his name now? The, oh, how can I, sorry, sir, Assistor, for forgetting your name. He's a good, he's a, um, one of those um, uh, leaders that helps reform racism. I can't remember his name for the life of me. But when, he, when she retweeted him on the platform to say that okay. black women are the most re disrespected women in America, I have to agree. Because if you look through those comments, you see people really just making a joke about somebody's plight. Mm. If it was a man and man thing now, I feel like the energy would have been very different. Mm. How dare you? How can you break the bro code? They would really ostracize this person. The person is done for life. You know, like, you're basically a F up guy. Like, it's proper energy that is that is backed up. But when it comes to women, as long as he can make a music video that looks chill and he's jumping around like an idiot, like a monkey, it's fine. You jam to the music. People are even complaining that he's supposed to have gotten more streams than he than he did uh -huh. because it's just a complete joke. Um, and it was easy for people to, for, for the same people that were tweeting at her saying that we support you, we support you, to now also come and petition on him that, yeah, bro, yeah, tell them, you know, jamming to the music, like it's nothing. I don't think people take um, in, um, seriously enough the issue of violence against black women. I don't think they do. If it was a Karen, we would not be having this conversation. Uh, and I, and I, I wish it wasn't that case. I wish I was in the reality. It's really sad for me because Megan doesn't have any family support. All she really does have is it's the industry herself. support and herself and maybe fans, which I know legit is not good enough. So I can imagine what this baby is actually going through. But if you're listening, if it's any American or any guy listening, you need to do better. If you're going to stand with women, stand with them. You're going to actually stand with the victim. Don't do a wobbly leg or when some mm. when the same perpetrator makes a fun music, you shake hands and then you go back to support it. Nah, you have to go all in and understand. I don't need to say. Think about your mother, think about your father. She's a human being, as equal as you. Think about that and respect that. So if he's going to go to prison, he should go to prison. If he's guilty, he should, go to, he should, he should, um, um, he should be fine for that. I'm not listening to his music. I'm not supporting him. In my mind, he's completely cancelled. You're not allowed to do that to people, especially if you're not even genuinely remorse. You're still jumping around making videos. So until there's a complete reformation in your mind and there's a true... In fact, another album saying that you're genuinely sorry. I'm not listening to you, bro.
All right, and on that note, um, Tory Lanez, whatever the outcome of this is, I just hope, like I said in the beginning, I hope you learn from this, and I hope a lot of men learn from this as well. So if you're going to be the scapegoat, yeah, you're welcome. Maybe you, when you get out of jail, you probably drop a song, Scapegoats. That's an idea. Mm -hmm.